A local boy and Super Bowl champ, Kamu Gruje Hill is here. Kamu, by the way, is a Kamehameha grad. Congratulations, thank man. You, thank Congratulations. You. So is the party still going on right now? Oh, the party's still going on, definitely. <laughs> that city almost burnt down. Yeah, what, what was it like, though? The parade, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, th th this is an Eagles town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the parade, everything was just crazy. Weeks coming up to it, everything. We all we had that feeling going into it. We knew what, what we were going out there to do, and when we got it done, Coming back to the city, just seeing, being with the fans, three million people, it was, it was like nothing. I, I can't even put it into words. Yeah, you realize, though, that 99% of America is rooting for you guys, yeah. right? I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, we, we had to bring that win home for yes. sure. Yes, all is right in the world because mm -hmm. the Eagles beat the Patriots. Yeah. Uh, well, take us back to December, okay? Carson Wentz goes sure. down. Mm -hmm. How much faith did you have at the time? I and mean, I, I know you're going to say, well, we believe next man up. Everybody's got to do their part. But, but did you really believe that Nick Foles was going to be the guy to take you to the Super Bowl? I and mean, win like the Super Bowl. <laughs> like you said, it's just like real cliche to say, but at the end of the day, like this team, we, we suffered so many injuries throughout the year. Yeah. You know, season-ending injuries and key roles. So like, when it came down to it, we had no, no no choice but to have faith in each other. And I mean, the guy showed up. You, you can't say anything else. He he balled out, and we got the win. Yeah. Oh my God, he balled out. He even caught that pass. Okay, so so yeah. what did you think? What did you think of the play calling? You're on the defensive side. So when you see Foles. Mm -hmm catch that pass going into the end zone. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, what's going through your mind? Well, the funny thing is, you know, just Doug told us before the game he's going to be aggressive. And right when we got the – they made the call. It was a TV timeout. They made the call. The whole sideline knew it was coming. Oh, uh, wow. So we're all, we're all ready. And it was it, – to see him wide open was – like that feeling right there was, was un, unbelievable. Yeah, is Doug kind of that, that risk taker? Oh, yeah. He's, mm -hmm. he's, he's, he, he's going to play aggressive. And he, he has faith in his guys. And he knows, he knows what he needs to be done. Yeah, you're a linebacker. Mm -hmm. Did you get to hit Tom Brady? <laughs> no, not that game. <laughs> Did you want to hit oh, Tom I Brady? Oh, I wanted it bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, in all seriousness, though, I mean, the, the fact, I mean, it's not just beating mm -hmm. a Super Bowl opponent. I mean, you're beating the Patriots. Yeah. Was there any of that going into this game? Like, oh, my God, it's, it's them. It's mm -hmm. not just anybody else on the other sideline. Yeah, definitely. I mean, for me personally, um, you know, guys like Chris Long and um, LeGarrette Blunt, I was drafted the Patriots last year, coming out of my rookie year. So um, to be released by them and then come to the Eagles to, to play them in the Super Bowl is nothing better. Yeah. What is your, your contract situation? So you're, you're going into your third year. Going into my third year, I got four years contract. Okay, so yeah. you're going to be with the Eagles for a while. Two so, more years. So, so as you look mm -hmm. ahead, I mean, the, the possibility of Carson Wentz coming mm -hmm. back, although they're saying maybe now his injury is worse than they thought, mm -hmm. but you still have Nick Foles who has proven that he can lead you guys. So yeah. you're obviously looking at mm -hmm. repeat, right? I mean, that's, that's our mentality going in for sure. And knowing a guy like Carson out there is, is such the, le the leader he is and having a backup like Nick Foles, like, what, I don't see us being stopped. In a, and I think we're going to be a contender every year for a while. Okay, did, did you guys all get to hold the Lombardi Trophy or was that just you and your mom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just me and my mom went up there and stole it. No, yeah. no, no. We all got a chance to, to get it in. That feeling right there is just a, a dream come true. Yeah. One of our co-workers, who shall remain nameless at this time, went to Kamehameha schools, and she said, back then, you, you were skinny. And she said, you weren't even one of the cool kids. I mean, is that true? Yeah, I mean, freshman year, I, was, I think I was like 115 pounds, like 5'7", yeah, yeah. just a little, just trying to find and make his way, you know what I mean? No, I'm just joking. Lacey yeah, said you were a great kid, mm -hmm. uh, and, but congratulations, man. Okay, so, so this Saturday, mm -hmm. uh, because we're talking about how everybody can eventually become the next Kamu Gruje Hill. Uh, you want to inspire kids, and you're mm -hmm. going to be out there at Ala Moana, right? Yeah, Ala Moana, um, one to four, um, the Eva stage uh, by Bloomingdale. Yeah, how much fun has it been, though, to get the local reception as well? Oh, it's fun. I mean, that's the best part about it. You know, um, every time someone asks me that question, I just talk about, you know, the aloha we have here yeah. and being just a true family. You know, even guys like Max, Yancey, Zeke yeah. Lau, Josh Moniz, you know, all those guys, all the Hawaii guys that are, are doing what they do. And having uh, the whole state behind them is, is amazing. That's right. Local boys represent. Local baby. boys represent. All right. So if you want more information about when you can go out and meet Kamu, go to our website, hawaiinewsnow.com. Congratulations. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Good stuff. We'll be right back. You're watching Sunrise on Hawaii News Now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you didn't mind that. Perfect. <laughs> Lazy.